a new plugin that I've added and it's called the Spiral Tool. It's probably changed its name over a period of time. But anyway, at the moment it's the Spiral Tool. Great spiral designs. Now it's not the same as the Spiral that comes in Illustrator. And to install it, basically it's, uh, it's only for Mac. So at some point there will be a PC version. Not certain when, but there is only a Mac version at the moment. And just go to Adobe Illustrator 21. This is in your library section. So if you want to actually can't find that, just say go and go to folder and just select that, the library. And then go to the application support, then Adobe, Adobe Illustrator 21 and en underscore gb or en underscore us, obviously, or en whatever, various thing. And then all the way down to plugins that's where you want to put it just put it in plugins you could also of course put it in the main sort of illustrator plugins folder but it's easier just to put it into the non-admin section just put it into the user account and there it is it's just gx spiral 64.aip it's a spiral plugin you can find it on the graphic extras website there's uh, obviously a link with the youtube video just showing where the plugin is a free one and it contains five different tools. It's very experimental, so um, there's some things about it that may not work in particular ways that you think that are predictable or, or not. But uh, I'll just now go through the actual plugin. So now, so it's there, and once you've done that, then obviously start up Illustrator. And it's obviously already in Illustrator, and it probably works best without any color, and just just use the stroke. And now I'm just going to use that and the plugin itself, line segment tool, see there, there's the actual plugin, spiral tool, see maybe it shouldn't have been called spiral tool, it doesn't particularly matter, it doesn't cause a problem for Illustrator, but uh, I might call it something else at some point, but as I said, maybe there'll also be another four or five, maybe even more at some point I'll be adding to that with sp additional spirals. So there's the first one, spiral tool, and it's under that, so you can see the icon there, and there's nothing else, so there's no other features, you can't click on it and do other things. So, right, once you've actually got that, and of course, another thing before I actually go any further, show it if you don't want it, obviously, just quickly remove it. It's just simple, just delete the AIP file from that folder, and that's it, it's gone. So, you don't need to worry about anything else, there's no other additional features. So, yeah, the actual plugins. So, just going to go here and select that and then just apply and you can see just as it just drag that across you go move it left and right you can see if you go left it will shrink and you go go right and all the plugins work in a similar sort of way so you just drag that out there so you go further and further i'm just going to sneeze at this point so i'm not going to stop the video right obviously i've uh, caught a cold somewhere now once done that you can then obviously just use it as a normal path that's all it is it's a normal spiral path and you can of course manipulate it and transform it just as before just as any spiral tool now what you can do also and i'm just going to go to spiral now you can hold various keys down i'm not going to put all these in the video all the various things but there's various modifiers virtually all the tools you, you can find often have like modifiers that can modify like hold the straight line or something well, this one you just drag that and hold the shift down hold the shift and you can see what you can do it actually creates some more arms as you just go through just drag right again so you can just see it and you know so you can just go out and just to finish don't you can just release obviously the shift at that point and there you've got it now once you say release and you've got the spiral design again it's just a standard spiral path but what you can do, as soon as you go back to it, you'll notice it's back to before. Just defaults always back to the standard thing. I might change it at some point. I might think go the other way and just keep it the thing. But it's sometimes makes it easy just to quickly go back to the original thing. Because of course, what you can do, you can always just duplicate that if you want to create it again. Just go hold the Alt or Option Option key for Max, of course. Um, just try to create another one there. Okay, so you've actually got that design there and of course you can add all the other things as well so you can just go over here you can just add a width profile and I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger than that so you can see it and you've got a width profile there or maybe brushes and so on so, so you can use all the standard things you can change the color you don't have to go with black 
just been doing it for the video just to be black there so you can make it red exactly the same as normal now right so you've got that there there's also another one just like that and you can hold the alt down and you can see the alt again you move it right and it will change alt it that way and then it makes it more like a square design there so you can just basically just drag that out and do that now also again you can so I just say stop at that point, release, and you've got the design there. Control Z. And again, back to default. Now hold the command key down, and you can see then you can actually just compress the decay, change the decay rate, so you can make it like that. So you can once you've actually got that, you can also hold once you've done the actual command, you can then go to shift and you can see you can actually create more there. So you can zoom there. So you can just release that. And you've got the design there so it's got a nice sort of which of course you can again hold the option down and create multiple copies of that so an interesting selection there's also other ones as well this and i'm just going to quickly go back to the spiral and you can hold the space as well and you can distort it in that way as well just sort it out and there's a few other combinations there you can find that on the website a bit more information about all the various modifiers there's not many modifiers unfortunately with it would be nice if you could like press one two three four etc and modify it that way but unfortunately there's no or the mouse be nice that as well but they don't so just shift control that sort of thing okay so once you've actually got that you can see that's the default one now there's a couple others you see there you've got abstract spiral tool so abstract one now this one creates just basically very very abstract designs just random designs you can see just created there and it's just so really like a sort of sketch sort of scribble design so you can just release there just create another one there another one there and basically millions of different designs like i say this is one thing i'm going to probably explore in some additional plugins at some later point just to create some more sort of ones that create random parts like this so you can create very quick scribbles which of course again you can set the color for that over there just change the color and you can see you've got a red one there or pink yeah now what you can do then you can also use the modifiers as well so you've just got that and just remove those and then hold the modifier down so you just see you can see you can just make sort of one or two light arms there so you just make a less sort of squiggle or you can, or you can go the other way and make even more of a squiggle now you can keep that there and then well, of course you can go to the command and you can create more lines to make a very very abstract design like that just by using a combination of shift and command and also there's an option of course and also the spacebar and others now right once you've done that that's the abstract one just a quick run through of that sort of feature this curved spiral tool now basically it just creates a curved spiral design you can see the curve there and again you can drag that out just that is a more random so you can see it's just forming different random designs and it takes the current color and again you can use it just to fill the design very quickly like that now again modifiers you can actually create very very few lines there and just release that and just use that as well as obviously command as well so you can change the and then once you've done that you can go back to shift you want maybe make few more and just go across like that and then release and you creates a sort of interesting sort of scratchy design which of course you can then obviously create random ones or you can just simply just option and drag those out to create some very scratchy sort of spiral designs which of course you can then maybe use to cut them crop them past binder etc or that sort of thing okay now is the next one and i'm just going to go there again and that's a spiral crate tool now this one doesn't look particularly do very much and it just goes like that and what you can see it actually creates gaps in the arms so you can see there's a gap there between the arms there's sort of bigger space bigger space and then it's small going so it's actually tried to create an arm but randomly it's decided not to and then it's joined to the next arm to actually so you can actually create sort of gaps in there that's a and again you can hold shift down so you can see you can go down that way or go left to create 
and so on and so on. Again, sometimes it actually suddenly will vanish because randomly it will just work out that there's no arms and then it just will not create anything. A bit odd, I know, but it does actually just create a random and then it can't, and you can create more again going across or away and so on and so on. So just change the decay rate that way. Now, final one. Just go over here and spiral gap. And it just creates, and you just go there and drag that in. And you can see it just creates a more, just nice gap design there. Some of the, uh, the decay rate obviously doesn't make any difference in this one, but you can uh, go in there and you can hold the shift down and change the number of arms created. So you can go out and out like that. And again, go back in again to see the actual spiral design. Of course, once you've actually got that again, you can just use various effects. Effects, they all work. You can use the standard effects that come with Illustrator. So that's that. And you can, I say, also do a few other ones there. So you can just go in there and hold the Alt down, or Option, I should say, to actually, again, make it more like a square, square design. And again, Shift, Space, and all those things, they can modify it slightly. That's a space modification. And there is a quick run through of this. And it's a free plugin, which you can use for the Mac on Illustrator CC 2017. Only works on 2017. Wasn't designed for, I mean, it might work for earlier. I haven't tested for that. So, uh, so obviously that's uh, just there. And also for 10.12, the latest version of the Mac operating system. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.